Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to create the virtual machines in Azure. So I have logged into the uh, Azure portal, which is portal.azure.com. And once you are logged into the portal, you can, you know, just to navigate to virtual machines. You can also search virtual machine from the search box and you can select the virtual machines and from here you can you know choose the create option and select azure virtual machine and you need to have a valid subscription so the active subscription to create you know the virtual machine and uh, here i'm going to create new resource group which is rg2 or you can also choose the existing resource group so i have uh, rg1 let me check if i have any resources in rg1 so you can go to the resource group basically uh, you know you need to use any of the resource group to you know place all the resources so i don't have any resources i'm just uh, using the existing uh, resource group which is rg1 and uh, i am giving the vm name just a vm1 and uh, you can choose the region based on your location and here i have selected asia specific and you can choose the image that you want to you know deploy so i'm selecting uh, windows server 2019 and you need to choose the size for the windows server 2019 and here you can see all the vm sizes like uh, dc series e series v5 h series which is high performance compute vms and m series v2 the latest generation vm m series and m series n series which is designed for compute intensive graphics intensive and visualization workloads so i'm going to expand the dc series and here uh, i'll be choosing one vcpu and eight gig ram so select this one and uh, provide the username and uh, enter the password and confirm password and enter the inbound port rules you can you know allow this 3389 which is the rgp if you don't allow this you will not be able to take the rgp so i'm just uh, selecting this port so that i can check rgp as well and i can just click on next for disk and here you can choose either premium ssd and standard ssd or standard hdd so based on this uh, the performance and iops will be different and this is going to be the os disk type so i'm just selecting the standard ssd and under here you can add data disk if you want i'm just going to leave as it is and go to networking and uh, under the uh, network interface you need to have the vnet so i'm just uh, you know it has created rg1 dash vnet so leave it default and subnet it's taking the default 10.0.0.0 slash 24 and uh, it's also taking the public ip through which we can rtp into the vm and leave everything default and just go to next and here we can see that uh, your subscription is protected by microsoft defender 
for cloud basic plan and just leave the default options and go to advanced and here just go next and review plus create so validation passed let me just click on create So let's wait for a minute to get this uh, deployment completed. Okay, so the deployment succeed and it has created the virtual machine. So let me click on go to resource and uh, here we can see the resource group that you know hold this uh, VM and the location where it is deployed and the subscription and the size and the operating system and here we can see the public ip address of this vm and uh, there is a private ip also in case if you are deploying any other vm in the same subnet then we can connect using the private ip address can see the status it is running if you wanted to see uh, the resource that are all associated for this resource group you can just uh, open the rg1 resource group and uh, here you can see that resource type this is the vnet and it is the virtual machine and public IP and uh, network security group, which is NSG, we allowed for the 3389. And this is the network interface. This is also one of the resource and the OS disk. So to connect uh, this VM, you can just uh, click on this connect and click on RDP. And you can download this RDP file. And you can launch by clicking the vm1.rdp so you need to enter the username password and then it will be connected as you can see i have logged in with my user account that i just uh, created and uh, this is the public ip of the vm make sure you you know stop and deallocate this vm in case if you are using the free trial and uh, if you're not going to use it, otherwise uh, it will be charged. Okay, it is the Windows Server 2019 data center version. I'm just closing it. Okay, so that's it in this video and I'll see you in the next. Thank you.